Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to create stunning grid layouts using Divi's video module. The goal of this mini series is to give you some inspiration and some design ideas which you can use in your own projects. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive into the mini series. <music> Welcome to part two of our mini series. So in our first part, we, this is what we designed. We have this light version of this layout and below we have the darker version. So in part two of this mini series, we are going to come up with a totally different layout design. So all right, let's dive in and let's go into our WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm here in my dashboard. I'm just going to click dashboard and then we're going to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new and let's call this page part two. I'm going to click on use the Divi builder and we're going to go straight to our visual builder. So the first thing we need to do here is to add some columns. So I'm going to click this plus button here and add two columns. So in the first column here, we're going to add a video module. So I'm just going to search for it quickly. And here it is. And I'm going to add my URL. So let's move on to the overlay because we need to add our customized image. So I'm going to click on upload and we're going to choose our image. So we're going to choose this one click upload an image. Now, if you don't have any images in your media library, you can always upload these from your own, from your computer. So I'm going to click upload an image. So now you can see we have this beautiful image and a really nice overlay. Next, let's go into the design tab and customize our play icon. So what we're going to do here is, I mean, you can add any color that you want, but uh, for now, I'm just going to add my RGBA value in here. So ideally, what you want to do is to add a color that matches with your branding. Okay, so now that we have all that in place, I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so moving on, let's add another module. So this time it's going to be a blurb. So I'm just going to click here. So for the title, we're just going to call this video one. And then we're going to come over here to the content area and paste some dummy text. So over here on the link, you can add any link you want. So I'm just going to add a blank link for now. And then for the image and icon, let's click on use icon and we're going to choose an icon to use. So I'm going to go with this one here. So let's come over here to the design tab and make some customizations. So let's start off with the icon and image. So for the icon color, I'm just going to paste my color in here that. And by the way, if you'd like to follow along and use the exact settings as we are, I will leave a link in the comments box below to access this post. So for the text color, it needs to be set to light. So I'm going to come over here to text, set it to light because later on, we're going to add a dark background. The text orientation needs to be set to center. Okay. So let's come over here to the header text. So let's set the header font size to 52 and uh, let's change this header font to Roboto. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here until I find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that's looking good so far. I know we can't see anything here yet, but uh, once we add the background color, we'll be able to see what's happening over there. Now let's set the uh, letter spacing to one, and then it's time now to go to the body text. So on the body text, let's choose Open Sans as our font. We're gonna change this to size 20. The text body color, I'm just gonna paste it in here like that. Okay, so now that we have all that in place, let's come over here to the spacing. So for the spacing here, we're going to add a custom padding of 5% to the top on the desktop. And then on the tablet, we're just going to add 20 pixels top and 20 pixels bottom. So depending on the amount of text that you have, you may need to adjust these accordingly. Finally, let's go into the advanced and let's click on animation. So ideally we need our animation to animate from right to left. Now we can go ahead and save. So what we need to do next is to add a background image to our section. Now the size of the image just depends on uh, on your website, but in this example we're using 2000 by 2200 pixels. Okay, so we're going to come over here to this gear icon, click on background, and then we're going to go to the third tab. Click on the plus button, and the image I'm going to use for this is this one right here. Click upload an image, and then we're going to come over here to parallax, and leave it at true parallax. So let's go on to the design tab, click on spacing for the custom padding. We're going to add a zero to the top and a zero to the bottom. 
and then we can go ahead and save the changes. Now it's time to go into the row settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon to access the row settings. Click on background. Okay, so next we need to come over here to column two background and click this plus button. Now the type of background we're going to add here is a, trans is a background which has transparency. So what I normally do is I just drag this slightly to the bottom to activate the RGB a options. Then I paste my value in here. Now the reason why we're using RGBA for this is because it allows transparency and as you can see we have this transparency on this background. Okay so now that we have the background in place the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that this row is set to full width. So we're going to come over here to design click on sizing and then we're going to activate make this row full width and then we need to also customize the gutter width and set that to one. Come over here to equalize column height and set to yes. Now the reason why we've done that is because we want to make sure that what we have on the left here is the same height as what we have or the description that we have on the right here. Next it's time to click the spacing and adjust the padding. So what we're going to do here for the padding is we're going to add a zeros to all of this. So we need to make sure that we don't have any padding on all of these. So I'm just going to enter my padding for column one and column two. And I'm also going to do this on um, the spacing like that. Okay, so now our design is flash and we don't have any spaces between. So now that we have all our settings in place, I'm going to go ahead now and save. So that's looking really nice. So what we're going to do next is to duplicate this. So to duplicate the row, we're just going to come over here to this icon here and click the duplicate. So what we need to do next is to move the video column over to the right. So I'm just going to click and drag it like that. And then I'm also going to click this one right here over to the left. So now that I've moved this content over to, to the right, to the left, you can see that we've lost our background color. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to this gear icon to go to access the settings. Okay. Let's come over here to the icon because the icon is facing the wrong way. So I'm going to click on icon and image and then just click this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and save for now. So I'm going to come over here to, to the right, click on the section settings because we don't want to have the same image. So I need to change that image. So I'm going to come over here to my design. So I'm going to come over here to overlay, click upload to change that image. And then I'm going to select this one here, click upload image. Okay. That's looking better. So next let's click the advanced tab and change our animation from left to right. So now it's time to add our background color. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on background. So this time our background color needs to go on column one because we've just switched it. So let's delete this column two background and add our column one background. So I'm going to paste my RGBA value like that. And then I'm going to save for now. Okay. So what we're going to do next is to create the light version of this. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings right now. It's quite difficult for me to select my section settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the wireframe mode. So I'm going to come over here and then I'm just going to duplicate this. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to get out of that by clicking this magnifying glass. So now we can see how our layout looks like. Okay. So this is how our page looks like so far. So let me click this desktop icon to go back into our main design. So all we need to do to create the light version is to make some, um, some adjustments. So first of all, before I go into any changes, I'm going to come over here and change my image, which is on the overlay. So I'm going to click my, uh, module settings, come over here to overlay, click upload, and then I'm going to choose this image, click upload image, and then I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to do the same over here. Click on the gear icon, click on overlay, and then I'm going to click upload and choose this one, upload an image. Okay. So that's looking good so far. So now we're going to dive back into our wireframe mode because it's easier to work in here. So I'm going to come over here to the section settings and add a background image. 
So the image that we're going to add here is the lighter version. So I'm going to click this icon here for the image. Click on the um, settings button and we're going to choose this one. Upload image. All these settings here, we can leave them as they are and go ahead and save. So now we need to go into the row settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon for the row settings. Click on background. So for the column two background, I'm just going to change this color and paste my new color in here. Like that. Right, let's do a quick preview. So I'm just going to click my uh, desktop view. And if I scroll down already, you can see that we are making changes here. So for now, I'm going to save. So next, we're going to come over here to our blurb settings. And we're going to go into the design. On the text, we're going to make this changes from light to dark so that it's easier for us to read. For the body text, I'm just going to paste my text color in here like that. So now you can see it's much, much easier to read. Okay, so we're going to change our body font to Roboto. And then finally, what you need to do is to repeat this process and add those settings over to this one. Okay, so this is the final design. So what you could do is if you need more videos on this page, all you have to do is to go in and duplicate those sections. And then you can always choose which ones you want to go with, whether you want to go with the dark version or the lighter version. And also this design is responsive, which means it will look very nice on mobile devices and also on tablets. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.